So we lost in prime time to the Dallas Cowboys in week five. And I think there's a growing theory now as we drop to one and four that I I can't play under the lights, right? I don't come to play when the lights are brightest, but let me tell you. I want them even brighter, baby. Jesus, maybe not this bright. But um, yeah, we're ready to go. 4, 15 p.m. That's the right amount of brightness, honestly. Like late afternoon. We can take on the Washington Commanders. They are 0 and 5. They are an 81 overall. They do have home field advantage. And the forecast says that heavy rain is on the way. So that could impact a ton of things. Now, whether or not it actually rains in the game, man, I would be surprised. We've seen it not rain before or snow when they've given us these storylines. But you know what? In this weird meeting between three staff members and the quarterback, we might look to run the ball. Saquon Barkley beat the commanders and rack up 150 plus rushing yards. I'm down. Saquon really couldn't get things going last game. Really unfortunate. I hope the opposite is the case today. We're playing a very good defensive line, so we might have to throw the football. That's They've got Tua? All right. Tua Tungle by Loa, 77 overall. Star development. That's interesting. All right, well, could be a tougher matchup for us today because I think even 77 overall Tua is a big improvement over some of their previous quarterbacks we faced, like Carson Wentz. And if you guys are long-term, long-time fans of the Giants franchise series, you know that uh, the Commanders are maybe our biggest rival in the series. We've had a number of very interesting storylines with them. There was a disastrous Hail Mary in an unbelievable game we played with them a couple seasons ago. They they are quite the team. They've got a great D-line. Montez Sweat, Deron Payne, Chase Young, Josh, or excuse me, Jonathan Allen, Josh Allen, Jonathan Allen. They've got Tua at quarterback, Antonio Gibson and Brian Robinson in the backfield. Lamar Graves, they have a superstar fullback? A superstar rookie fullback? Was he even drafted? Because he, has, he hasn't played, really. He surely was undrafted if it's already revealed. There was a superstar undrafted rookie free agent in this past draft class. Okay. They've got Darnell Mooney, Jahan Dotson, Diami Brown, a couple of rookie receivers, Logan Thomas, offensive line with Charles Leno. Ben Powers is injured, so we'll see the former... Tennessee Titan, Quentin Spain, Chase Roulier at center, Trey Turner, former Panther and Charger at right guard, Sam Cosme, Texas Longhorn at right tackle. And then we see Chase Young, who is injured, so Chaka Tony may play. Montez Sweat and just cut in real life, Jerry Tillery. Jonathan Allen and Deron Payne. Fedarian Mathis will play as well, and they're all Alabama interior. J.C. Bolden, rookie out of Tennessee, does have hidden dev is a pretty good pass rusher. J.C. Bolden, not a bad player. Middle linebacker, Jamin Davis, David Long. Cole Holcomb at right outside linebacker. Corners, get Kendall Fuller, and of course, the former giant, Eli Apple, and the former number one overall player from two draft classes ago now, Daniel Brinkley out of Buffalo. He's got decent speed, got good coverage, and Nick Duval mossed him to win the game. Uh, I think in one of our, our matchups as well. So that was fun. Devin McCourty still in the league and Cam Curl with Derek Forrest at strong safety. Really interesting. Now, we still have a couple of big injuries. So week six doesn't get a whole lot easier for us. Nick Duvall going to miss this game. Derek Cooper going to miss this game. And Andrew Thomas will be out for the next two. But we're getting back to full strength in week seven against the Browns. We have to find a way to win today all there is to it find a way to win they're a more talented team than their overall would show in their record certainly we could not give them their first win today and the rain is coming down here at fedex field let's get a win we'll kick off to start and someone that i expect to have a big game today is aziz ojalari against sam cosme 
Sam Cosme at right tackle with the lefty quarterback is unusually so, but in this case with Tua, the blind side protector, and he's only 77 overall. Aziz Ojolari has been great uh, over this series, I would say. So we need him to have a big game today. Tua has been fantastic. Eight touchdowns, no picks, over 1,100 yards passing, and doesn't matter. The <laughs> commanders have not won a game. Now, he, has he been fantastic? He's been really good in terms of touchdown to interception ratio, but that's eight touchdowns in five games as a quarterback. That's not exactly unbelievable numbers. Still big injury, but yeah, those are not huge numbers for Tua. It's a very good touchdown to interception ratio, but is he doing enough to push the football down the field and win the commander some games? Doesn't seem like it. Tua, read option. He's going to keep it. McKinney in pursuit. Going for the football. Tua takes a shot from Dory Jackson, but rushes for 20. We don't need Tua Tungabailoa. We don't need 20 20 Tua. Like that. We need Tua turn the ball over. So give us the football. Throw your first interception of the year. And let's get a win. Kind of got out of position there. Tua throwing away. Looked like he was going to scramble out of the pocket there. Didn't really end up happening. Second and 10. They're not exactly in a field goal range yet, so we can back them up here. We just need a good play. John Bost maybe doing something. Tua again looking to scramble. He's going to throw a crossbody. This is an interceptable ball, but it's caught instead. Oh, my goodness. Jahan Dotson in traffic makes an incredible grab. His second catch of the game. Tua... Going to his left on the run across the field, cross body, delivers the throw, and moves the chains. That's an incredible play. Incredibly stupid. But it works out for him. As uh, Dexter Lawrence will bring down Antonio Gibson. Third and eight. Huge third down. Go over the middle. Throw at the Don. He's going to throw a pick and save your McKinney. Stay in the end zone. Why are you running out, dude? I'm holding down. He's trying to score a touchdown. You might cost us one. We go down to the one yard line. I mean, Tua's being crazy right now. That is his first interception of the year. One was bound to happen in this rain playing the way he's played so far. Wild and reckless. But Xavier McKinney just sprinting out of the end zone, man. Stop doing that. All right, from the one yard line. Need some yards. Longest drive of all time. Here we go. That is not a good start. Saquon got maybe back to the one there. Uh, yeah, we tie, we tie the longest drive of all time. I want to run left here. Is there a way I can motion, you know, Reggie Gilliam over and not have the linebacker travel? That's fine. Oh, good block. Saquon. There we go. Back in reasonable field positioning here down at the eleven. We needed just to get, you know, out of safety range. And I think we've done that. I really liked moving Reggie Gilliam over. Maybe we'll try that again at some point. Try to make a juke and nothing happens. It may be difficult to run the ball today. So maybe we'll just have to get Saquon involved as a receiver. Nine-yard grab for Barkley. Sets up third and short. But this is going to be a very tough third down to convert. They are really good on the interior of that defensive line. We need good blocks. There we go. Saquon with the patience. Good block from Tony. And Barkley picks up another 10 or 11 yard gain. That's what we need to do. If we can have the time to be patient, we're going to be successful. Zach Beck checks into the game at tailback. We'll give it to him. Up the middle. It's decent enough power from Beck for four. Kadarius Tony. Nice grab. Tony with the first down. He was great for one drive. I know four catches, 72 yards. Uh, he's just not someone I, I look for all that often. He's not always open. A lot of times he's more of a distraction, which works, right? But yeah, we, we need to do something else. When guys like Odell are dropping the ball. Larry Smith was great for us, but dropped the ball a lot last game. Or at least one big time. But you can't, you know, I, I really just hate to force the ball to anybody. But it looks like it might be working here. Kadarius Tony, second grab of the game. That's another first down for the Giants. Good start. This is a long drive. This is a good drive. We're doing what we need to do. We're getting the ball out quickly, but this might be time to take a deep shot. It's not. It's not. 
Saquon wide open out of the backfield, but the first incompletion of the day befalls Cody Bailey. Misfires for Barkley. Not even a particularly challenging throw, in my opinion, but just could not connect. But you can see what the strategy is going to be as we're going to slide as early as humanly possible with Cody Bailey. But there is an injury. We took Cody Bailey in the draft over Daniel Brinkley, and now Daniel Brinkley is injured. For the sake of the storyline, I hope it's not serious, but Nick Duvall can't play in this game. You know what? Maybe Daniel Brinkley shouldn't be able to either. Nice sling from Bailey. It's Kadarius Tony again. First down, Giants. Now, I will note that I made a depth chart change, and that was Kadarius Tony to receiver one, Odell Beckham Jr. to receiver two. We'll see. Of course, it's going to impact what routes they run. But it just could be better fits for uh, the route tree, you know, in our system. As I, Kadarius Tony's button never popped up. I couldn't see what it was. He wasn't super open anyways. Uh, but just couldn't really ever get in a rhythm on that one. Second and 15. Odell wide open. Wow. Devin McCourty came over in a hurry, didn't he? Third and 11. We are pretty much in a field goal range. We're going to try to throw it quickly and it's intercepted. I got to use the left trigger crap. Why do I, well, I, it's actually half the time I do that, the pass is inaccurate anyway. Man, trying to convert this third down 11, and instead we go ahead and take three points off the board. I just thought Larry Smith was open right away. Tried to hit him immediately. Obviously, Tony, you can't say he comes wide open because, I mean, look where the football is by the time he gets open. Trying to throw it quickly. Pressure wasn't even a factor on this one. I just thought Larry Smith was open. I guess I made a misread there. Kind of erased the turnover, and we had a really good drive. I don't know how we can't make the tackle with Dontrell Cobb, by the way. This is part of what I talk about with these stupid animations in Madden 23, and really the most recent Maddens. Uh, it's so animation-driven, where I feel like I'm doing everything I need to with Dontrell Cobb, filling the lane well. I feel like I'm right on him. Break down to make the tackle. Press A, the tackle button. And he just kind of looks at him. He doesn't actually do anything. So I don't I don't know how we're not in range to make the tackle there. Like they put in these these buttons to tackle and get animations. And they had worked in previous games. But here I feel like we're, we stand right on the ball carrier. And can't make the tackle half the time. And it's extremely frustrating. As that's another crap animation. Uh, went for the interception, but Darnay Holmes, instead of actually attacking the football like I'm holding down with my left analog stick, just kind of watches it again and then pretends like the receiver isn't there and, and basically lunges the other way. As I vacated the middle there, that's on me. I mean, I, I feel like I can admit when it's my fault, and often it is, right? But some of these times, things are out of my control, and it's some of those things that you can only feel while playing the game. And um, yeah, it, it is what it is. It, it's always going to be my fault to some people, but um, we'll just try and keep playing better. That's all we can do. But I really don't want to go down in this game. I really don't. We know what momentum can do. They already have a decent bit of it. We got to make a turnover again or something good to happen. And there we go. Football was said to come out. I think that Tua was probably down. Well, I'm not really reacting too much. Great to get pressure. Great to bring Tua down, uh, but yeah, I think that football was definitely still in possession. Trey Flowers is someone that we signed in the offseason. We really haven't seen too much of him. Came on the corner blitz there, ended up doing a really good job to bring down Tua, but yeah, football, of course, was not out, even a little bit before Tua hit the ground. And Tua will check down and throw an interception! Easy reads! John Boss down the sideline! The rookie from Bama with a huge impact play! John the Boss Bost. Tua, man, I mean, just kind of lobbed it. Trying to give his receiver a chance, but it was not there. Completely misfires for Antonio Gibson. And John Boss right there to force the big turnover. Gotta love it. Underneath. Nice to have another turnover, by the way. Three already in this game for both teams combined. Got to play a little bit better. I don't. I don't think we've really uh, played too poorly. It's just you know sometimes it's it's one mistake. Sometimes it's a bad Cody Bailey throw for Saquon Barkley, and a drive changes. You're forced to throw instead of you know being able to run the ball like we 
kind of started to find a little bit of success doing. And, you know, it's crazy, but one simple play, like a slight miss, an incompletion, that can totally end up changing a game. Because it's not the one play, it's what happens as a result. What are we forced to do that we wouldn't have done otherwise? Second and eight. Check down to Rhodes. Very okay to check down. Very okay. Never necessarily thrilled to check down. Okay, Jesus. We'll throw it away. Kadarius Tony, man. That route was nuts. Now, this was supposed to be just a regular corner route, but he basically runs it like a flag, uh, is what I've always called this route. Where, like, you fake... Tur he's in coverage against a linebacker. Or he's... He's uh, going against Cole Holcomb in coverage, who's a linebacker, right? So, Kadarius Tony's going to basically fake post here, right? Holcomb naturally would turn and flip his hips, right? But in real life, if he's going to flip like that, he is going to turn his body and look this way. Instead, he knows what route is coming because that's this game, and he runs the correct route for Tony, who never comes open, despite being, in theory, should have been wide open. It's a great route. He, you got the linebacker to turn, huge mismatch, and doesn't even come open a little bit. I, I hate it. I hate it, man. Larry Smith looks like he might have won down the field, but it's too close. We'll try a field goal, get some points on the board. Um, also, the kick arc. I mean, the wind is 16 miles per hour. Apparently, this is wind factored in, which I I guess I didn't realize. But we should be nailing this with Wyatt Anthony. Look at that wind. I've never seen wind like this in an actual Madden game. I've seen it when I used to do... I don't even know if I ever posted a video. The gauntlet... They do like 100 plus mile per hour wins or 80, something crazy like that. But 16 in a game? I mean, we kicked that so far wide left to snake back down the middle. I mean, wild stuff. But 3 nothing. It's a rainy game. We, I think we've done well enough. There's a run. Gibson popped by Cobb. And he's going to be short of the line to gain by about an inch or two. And they have 12 personnel on the field. We'll see if they decide to run the ball as a result. And they do, but Gibson makes a nice move and picks up the first. Throw the ball, Tua. Throw the ball! Oh my goodness! He threw the ball. I mean, I, he did exactly what I wanted, but why would he? And I felt like we were in pretty good position, but allow the catch regardless, Tua, and the commanders pick up five. Second and five. We gotta get outside here. Good coverage by Dory Jackson. Third and five. This is a big third down. We are pressed. I think I want to go Tampa two, play underneath, and then and then press like that. And they're just going to throw right in front of Cobb. Another first down. It's going to be a run. Gibson, man. He's just getting space. Averaging over five yards per carry right now. Coach just keeps sending us out into big nickel and stuff. And I don't really necessarily blame the coach. Because they have three receivers on the field. Logan Thomas basically makes four. Not really too much of a tight end here. And um, we got to bring out the DBs to match up. And when we do that, frees them up to be able to run the ball a little bit more. It's a screen. Got to get out there. Couldn't knock the football down with Aziz Ojolari. And it's an Antonio Gibson touchdown. Read it the whole way. Got out there. And Aziz just went and just missed the ball. Completely missed. Um, so yeah, touchdown commanders. They take a lead here with a minute and a half to go in the second quarter. It feels like a loss. Now we still could run the ball if we wanted to. A minute and 23 seconds, three timeouts. If we can pick up, you know, six or seven yards to carry, which is a lot, but if they're playing the pass, it's a little bit more reasonable that we could be somewhere close to that. We could move the ball that way. And we're going to check down. Odell Beckham Jr. actually catches it. Big yards after catch opportunity as well as he brings it out to about midfield. 56 seconds on the clock. Nice to see Odell actually catch the football. It's been a while. As we'll call a draw. And that draw goes for nothing. Now, I don't mind the call for a draw there. I obviously just wish we found a little bit more success. 
And we're going to get sacked. Football comes loose. We called the timeout. Probably shouldn't have. It's third and 19 now. I thought it was going to be second down. But no. Oh, they had the draw. Damn. All right, well, um, blocking there wasn't my favorite. Wasn't my favorite. Kadarius Tony. Nope, it's actually nearly intercepted because the pass looked like it was intended for Jaden Rhodes. And we will punt. I'm going to start this basically down the middle. I am curious to see how far this punt goes to the right. Because there is a hefty amount of wind. Oh my goodness, that is far. Big hit, Caleb Claiborne. But the commanders actually have time. What a, uh, what a brutal drive for us. Oh, we left it, and they ended up checking down. It's still a nice gain. Glenn Gore will end up wrestling down the receiver. John Bost actually hit him first. Uh, but yeah, I mean, they're in a field position to score here. Uh, scoring position very quickly. 15 seconds on the clock, one timeout. We just have not been able to really cover them today. And the interception's like, that one! No, McCoonie drops it! Really all been to his fault, as I was going to say. Nearly a third one there, and that one would have been devastating for the commanders, who uh, are almost guaranteed to get points up on the board here. So many turnovers for both squads, and that's great coverage. Um, but it did not switch me on to Dexter Lawrence. So instead of making the tackle, I dive with the player behind him. When I try to switch to the closest player here, right... On what planet does it switch me to Jeffrey Simmons as opposed to Dexter Lawrence? Like, d you're joking. It's not even comparable. Why would they switch me to him? I, it's so dumb. All right. Commander's very likely going to make this field goal. A lot of wind, you never know. Looks like it died down for that kick. Commanders going up here, 10-3 into the half. Very frustrating half of football. Very frustrating. All right, let's have a better second half. That's all I got for you. Second and eight, give me some blocks. Two yards. Third down and six, not four down turrets. Oh my goodness, we're sacked. Ball came loose, recovered by the commanders. Cody Bailey tripped him up and he goes down. Uh... Wow, I feel like we were sacked in about half a second there. 1-1,000, one, one yep. <laughs> Is that a late count? Dude. Unblocked up the middle. I mean, just feed Cody Bailey to the Wolves, why don't you? Read option. Oh, we're not fast enough. Glenn Gore! Gores him! But Tua holds on. I was Tua faster than my edge defenders there. Kind of wild. We just, as much as we force turnovers today, we actually just can't stop the commanders. Read option. Tua goes down, loses a three. Uh, three, yeah, a few there. Second and goal. He, they still can really do whatever they want. Like we can, we can try zone coverage. I've seen it just get absolutely exposed uh, in the red area before. But Tua is going to throw it away here. Bring up third and goal. Holding them to a field goal would be, like, nice. Doesn't necessarily have to happen, but it would be nice. Third and goal from the seven. To a quick throw underneath. Nice tackle by Darnay Holmes. Of course, well short of the line to gain. Touchdown, end zone, goal line. And the commanders will try a field goal. Probably make it. We're going to look at 13 to 3. I don't know. Some, we got it. Something's got to change. Something's got to change. That's don't return it. Don't return it. That's a penalty, and it's a big one as a result of all this wind here in Maryland. Kick out of bounds will give us the football uh, past the uh, past the touchback here by quite a bit, starting from the 40-yard line. And uh, we, we got to capitalize off this field positioning. Jaden Rhodes drops it. Bengals switch on. They never drop it. You're, you've never seen the game, clearly, because they do still. But drops happen. The receivers do not catch every pass. That isn't football. And uh, 
clearly the quarterbacks also don't throw every ball accurately. Although I wish they would and were sacked what feels like instantly. Two tight ends came in uh, to block, running back blocked. Now, the reason that that's stupid in Madden 23, because you'd think more blockers would work out better, right? Um, no. Because some of them are just stupid. So you have Saquon one-on-one -on -one with an edge rusher in the rookie J.C. Bolden. The blocking logic is so... Like, how can you how can you say this is, this is not stupid? Uh, offensive linemen are taught to pick up the interior first because those are the guys who can get up to the quarterback the quickest. Now, Lindstrom and McCoy, right, would be responsible for Payne and Allen. Those might be one-on-ones. Maybe Glowinski would help. Neil would pick up Sweat. And then you'd have Rhodes in case this guy comes. Holcomb would not be picked up probably unless Glowinski flipped here. But there is absolutely no reason that Jonathan Allen would be unblocked in this scenario ever. Because he's he doesn't beat. He doesn't beat Eric McCoy. McCoy passes him off to help with a linebacker. Over to the left guard Lindstrom. No boom then is one-on-one -on -one with a defense or, yeah, defensive lineman. So leave the running back one-on-one -on -one with the edge. Why is this happening? Sorry, it's just so frustrating, man. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. So, yeah, I don't know how to pick up any of these blitzes because the offensive line are full of dumbasses. And it's not their fault. It's EA's fault. Big hit. Dontrell Cobb. Gibson will lose a yard. This is a huge third down. They have all the momentum. So this is the first tackle of the game, by the way, for Dontrell Cobb. They have all the momentum. I'm trying to flip you. Dude, Akeel Edmonds, get over to the other side of the field. Thankfully, Tua just threw that to the ground. John Boss had the pressure. We sent everybody, forced the football out really quickly, and it worked out huge. We Yeah, we, we went all in. The Casino Blitz, we went all in, um, and it worked out. Fourth and three, the commanders will punt. There should be decent field positioning from the 31. We need to be able to move the football. Something's got to change. Now, what is his X-Factor ability? He's got the inside stuff ability and run stopper. On-field opponents have their zone progress wiped. Not super relevant. There we go, Saquon. There we go. Because we don't have a superstar X-Factor player on our offense when Nick Duvall is injured. It just doesn't really matter. Saquon up the middle. Just be faster. All right. Now we're being able to run the football a little bit. Let's go, Saquon. Another big gain for Barkley. We're cooking. It took until this drive in the third quarter to actually be able to run the football successfully. And I think the big difference is inside zone is a run play that works well. The rest are not. That's what that's my theory. First and ten. Wide open is Odell. It's gonna be picked. It's gonna be picked because uh, I hate the game. I need to use left trigger passing, I guess, right? I outside pass lead to what seemed to me to be a wide open Odell, and I can't complete the pass. Ah. Uh. I mean, it didn't take me long to find this. I start to throw the ball right, bang. Just a few steps after he's clean open. Gosh. Ugh, man. I, I get baited into that all the time. All right, we're going. A little QB contain here. Third and four. We know two. It might try and scramble. Quick throw at Dory Jackson. Great coverage. He got beat on the slant. Very, very easy for a receiver to beat a CB on a slant there. But got back in the play, forced the breakup, and we're still in the game. Our offense has been terrible, but we are still in the game. Really just launching picks in this one. Really launching picks. Why? What is the reason for the inaccurate bullet pass there? Why? Is it going to be a pick six? Nice tackle, dude. And it's raining, okay? Dude, 
random inaccurate bullet pass. He's wide open. Look at all this field. It's free real estate. We throw the ball immediately. He's wide open. Look where it goes. Larry Smith couldn't be more open. He throws it to the to the right side of the logo. I mean, Jesus Christ. That's a touchdown. I'm losing the will to live. I'll see you on my drive. I don't know what has to happen for us to win this game, but something else. Something else that isn't what's been happening. Uh, the worst part is, is I'm, I, I hear how unrealistic the catches and drops uh, and inaccurate throws and injuries are. Y you mean inaccurate for Madden. That, that's the thing. For real life, watch a football game, right? Injuries, incompletions, bad throws, drops happen all the time. But you mean inaccurate for Madden, which is... A, a huge difference. It's it was an RPO. I, I held on to the ball too long. Like I don't think that's the problem. I think it's just we haven't been able to be good enough to to really um, get past some of these problems that we've been facing on offense. And we got to be able to be better. It's fourth and two. We're gonna go for it. We're down twenty to three, and we're gonna trust Saquon Barkley to pick up the first down. And it's really trusting. Uh, the interior of our offensive line, and they did not do the job, and we turn over the ball. All right, well, we need a lot to happen. If we can hold them to a field goal here, I, I'm tired of telling me to run big nickel, dude. Let me bring out a bigger uh, set of defensive linemen on here and linebackers and stop the run. It did not work. Didn't work. Antonio Gibson, touchdown. Commanders go up 27-3. Sweet. Play action. Oh, we got him. Everyone's fooled. <laughs> Commanders, you didn't know what hit you just there, did you? Oh, are we in the same offense? We might be. Um, need to get back to coach suggestions. I wanted to be aggressive there. Really wanted to throw the ball downfield at a number of different instances. Uh, didn't end up doing it. We're going to run the ball for a first down here. Nice. Look at us go. Larry Smith. Oh, we got a good ball to him and he caught it. Miraculous. Um, I feel like we're not out of it yet. But it certainly doesn't look good. That's going to be picked, probably. Oh, almost. Wide open. Man, Cody Bailey, dude. Cody Bailey. Fourth and ten. We're trying this. Ball's got to come out quickly because we're going to get sacked otherwise. Somebody's got to get open. I like Saquon on it. Saquon caught it. Let's go. Let's go, Saquon. If we can get ten points here... I think we're, we're still in the game. Oh my goodness, we're getting pressure from behind. Good scramble, Cody. Okay, Deontay Foreman is into the game now. You guys probably forgot we had him on the team. He's been great in real life. Got to give him credit. Hook him horns. Nice throw to nobody. Larry Smith, just be open on the post. Odell, open. Come back to it. Touchdown. All right. We're still out of it. But it seems slightly more likely that we could somehow escape with a win. Two-point conversion. Don't really like anything on this. We'll see if anything gets open. Tony, nice catch in traffic. Okay. It is a 16-point game. That is two touchdowns with getting stops on the commanders. Two touchdowns, right? And two two-point conversions. So we have our work cut out for ourselves. But we are not terribly out of it, but still kind of. I don't know. We need we need three and outs. Read option. We need a hit stick. Glenn Gore gores him. And Tua does not fumble the ball. Tua. Man. Ugh. 
Going deep. Please. 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 Darn A. All right. Tua gets sacked. He's throwing a pick. It's dropped by Bost. Would have been his second of the game. That is a brutal miss because it's been so tough for us to, uh, for us to move the ball here. That field positioning after a huge potential return there would have been massive. Would have been massive. That's a pick. Oh my god. I t now it's over. Now it's over. So I wanted the drag and I go, eh, you know what? We're not going to throw a drag for once. We're going to go to Jaden Rhodes. He's six foot six. We have a good size advantage there. And Larry Smith, yeah, was open. I should have thrown the drag. I just got off of it because this linebacker, uh, which it's, I still, it would have been a shit throw probably. But we come back to the football. He's in front of it. He doesn't put his hands up. Holding Y. I, it was not the right read. I recognize that. It should not have been an interception. He just didn't put his hands up, man. I mean, uh, and now the dropped interception by Bost looms incredibly large. Nice play. It's the Don. Kiss the ring. I mean, we're down 16, and we, we are squandering our chances here. But, uh, yeah, it's a nice play. It's a nice play, at least. Two uh, over the middle. Oh, we need a huge hit there. Third and eight. We're sending heat. There is a flag. Unless it's roughing the passer, we're in a great spot here. It's a hold. We're going to go ahead and decline that. I think we have to. Fourth and eight. They're going for a field goal. There's 16 mile per hour winds, man. This is not a makeable kick. Ugh. I mean, not even... Not even close. All right, somebody went down the field. Need a little bit of luck here. We're going to Kadarius Tony. He's been the hot hand. I nearly threw a pick. Third and three. And we still have life, technically. Uh, nice little option route from Kadarius Tony there. Four interception day for Cody Bailey. Not what you like to see. Just not. Larry Smith, good route. Oh, didn't really want to do that. Wanted a little catch and run animation there. He did a little dive. Okay. <laughs> uh, I might high point to Jaden Rhodes here. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Nah, I can't do that. Just well, accidentally high pointed to Saquon who dropped it. Snap the ball. Tony, wide open. Big catch. Power. Touchdown. All right. There is a path to success here. We're down by 10. Wandale Robinson of the game. They're playing some off coverage here, man. I like Wandale. They covered it. Jaden Rhodes drops it. Oh, that's a good throw, too. All right, we're down by two possessions, but we know where we are now. There's three minutes left. We can afford to kick it deep here because we still have time. This is not necessarily an onside spot. We don't want them to get points. Certainly not a touchdown. Uh, we have time. We have time. Oh, that's a huge hit by Akeel Edmonds, by the way. We need the football on the ground at one of these times. Come on. We're up the middle. Boss is there. Gibson, you got to go down. Don't be a hero. Are they really going to run the ball here? Doesn't look like it, but it sure could be. They are. Cobb, nice tackle. We're going to call a timeout. And we are 100% counting on getting the stop here ahead of the two-minute warning. 100% counting on it. Accidentally got stopped. Tua checks down, completes it, first down. Ugh, gosh. Now, we're, we're in Tampa 2, cover 2. Uh, it just, it's frustrating when this player, Darnay Holmes, goes to help on Jahan Dotson instead of covering the flat where there's a wide open, open receiver at the line to gain. That's a little bit frustrating. Um, so yeah. Second and eight. Tua, uh, oh my goodness. We need to talk, we need to turn over. 
How is he breaking these tackles? I, I need that to be a fumble. Yeah, the odds of us winning this game after these first downs has dropped so considerably. I mean, it is substantial. I think we went from maybe like a 40% chance to win to like, oh, I don't know, 8% at the very highest, maybe even less than that. They're made up numbers, but you get the point. It is a huge difference. Third and four, Tua will throw. You gotta throw a pick, Tua. That's actually okay. They should have run the ball. They will punt. Minute and 47. Uh, we are pretty much in gotta have an onside kick territory if we even are able to score. We're going deep. Larry Smith, It's he's gonna miss him. He's gonna miss him. Uh, it's a long throw. Uh, out of range somehow and he overthrows him. I don't really understand that logic. That's a... Uh, I just I threw the ball and he didn't throw it, and it's fourth and 16 now. Yeah, really tough down in distance here. Need Odell. He won down the field. He dropped the ball. Game over. Yeah, man, we lost. We lost again. We didn't play well this game. Um, offense couldn't do anything. It was it was tough. It was tough. Some missed throws, obviously. Uh, drops weren't too much of a problem in this game. We did we did have two on the same drive, but four interceptions is. Uh, you know, you, you can't win a game when you do that, and we didn't, obviously. So, tough game. One of the worst games we've seen from uh, Cody Bailey in quite some time. Saquon did average four and a half per carry, but it was tough to run the ball earlier, and then we were, like, forced to pass. Kind of tough. Touchdown for Tony. And um, where were our drops here? Three overall. I remember the Barkley one. I remember the Jaden Rhodes one. I Maybe Odell there was at the end of the game, uh, but just just a tough game overall, man. We just we just didn't move the ball effectively. We're still struggling. I don't think we're out of the playoff race necessarily, but we're gonna need to have an incredible stretch. And most of the games have been very close. I think they really have been. Uh, it looked like we got housed by the Cowboys, but if you actually watched the game instead of just commenting at, after seeing the result. It was a really close game. We got destroyed in the fourth quarter after a couple of mistakes. This game, um, you know, we were fighting to get back in at the entire time. Ten-point game. These games will happen. Big mistakes. Yeah, we just uh, didn't have the consistency in this one. Offense just, and uh, rightfully a lot on me, just couldn't really, couldn't really find it. Isn't it so funny that we don't have a clip for an interception in this game? Isn't that wild? The highlights, man. I mean, they don't do anything right. And I've complained about that more than anything else this year. How do we not have highlights for interceptions? I can't look at any of these. Upgrades for Darnay Holmes. We're going to go slot on him. Get him up to an 82 overall. And he will hopefully eventually be a slot corner. Plus one to speed is nice. Man coverage goes up to an 84. Evan Neal. We will do pass protector. Get him up to an 82 overall. Plus one pass block finesse and pass block power. Like to see that. Uh, it's interesting that pass protector was low for him despite seemingly being a better pass blocker than a run blocker. Interesting. And we dropped to one and five. Again, with 17 games, not out of the playoffs just yet. But, you know, we really can't afford to lose too many games the rest of this season. And coach, is that a loss where you gather the team, chalk it up to the conditions, and immediately move on? Yeah, dude, it rained, therefore we were unable to move the ball even a little bit. No, he's saying I don't think so. No, I do think so. Maybe Cody Bailey is able to accurately throw a pass if it's not raining. Oh, and great. All offensive linemen will have minus three run block power and run block finesse for the next game. They already can't do it. And now they really are not going to be able to do it. But you know what I'm so excited about? Getting back Nick Duvall. I can't tell you how excited I am. It's it's very obvious how big of a part of the offense he is. When he and Andrew Thomas too, lord. We're, we we are getting ravaged right now cuz guys have been injured, we're not playing well. There are a number of different variables, but getting this guy back to the offense it's got to be the spark plug that we need.
It has to be. He's a beast. We need him to play like a beast. We need to beat the Browns. I'll see you in the next episode. Season's not over. It's not looking good, but we're getting some reinforcements. See you in the next one. Take it easy.